Hello friends, welcome you all to the video series on the special occasions and tributes. Education is known and has been proven to be the most powerful tool for social transformation across the world in various societies. And for the development of education, many great personalities contributed their entire career. In this line, do you know the most significant person who was a well-known Indian political leader, freedom fighter and former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. Our nation has widely acknowledged him as the kingmaker in Indian politics during the period of 1960s. He was referred as Perundalaivar and Padikkada Medhi in Tamil Nadu. Yes, he is none other than our great Kamarajar, hailed from Virudupatti now called as the district of Virudunagar and he has been admired for his simplicity and integrity during his 50 years long and illustrious political career. Considering his contribution towards education, his birth anniversary that is today 15th July is being celebrated as Educational Development Day. On the occasion of this day, being myself a teacher, I am extremely happy to present this video with an emphasis on his contribution towards education. Representing a novel political culture neither bordering on Gandhian thought and action nor possessing the anglicized sophistication and cosmopolitanism of Nehruvian vision, Kamarajar rose from an underprivileged background. In addition, he stood forth as a sober and robust figure, winning the confidence and respect of the common people. He showed a rare political acumen and the uncanny ability to grasp social and political realities from the grassroots level and applied his energies in favour of common people. Kamarajar had a minimal formal schooling, but that was never a serious impediment for him and he had an extraordinary memory as well. In fact, it is very rare that an individual person from such a humble origin possess such knowledge about Tamil Nadu, be it a geography or ethnography, which is beyond most intellectuals and academicians. Kumaraswami Kamaraj, born in 1903 into an ordinary small-scale business family, was a school dropout at the age of 11 and for a number of years never had steady and proper employment. He evinced keen interest in politics at the age of 15 and rose from the lowest Congress ranks during the freedom struggle to become the president of Tamil Nadu Congress party for over 20 years. Interspersed by short intervals, the Chief Minister of Madras from 1954 to 1963 for nine years and as the President of the Indian National Congress from 1964 to 1967. He assumed the crucial role of Kingmaker and it is important to mention here that Kamarajar transformed the Congress into a People's Party championing the causes of the lower caste. Committed to his version of socialism, meaning that those who are backward should progress, Kamaraja remained truthful to the simple dictum of his socialism, providing what is essential for man's living, such as dwelling, job, food and education. As Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Kamaraja removed the family vocation-based hereditary education policy introduced by Rajagopalachari and this is considered to be the great feature of Kamarajar rule. He set the stage for universal and free schooling through a great revolutionary plan. Because of this plan, every individual realized to think that the education was his responsibility which led to the growth of schools. Conferences were conducted and donations for about 4 crores of rupees were collected from the public. 6,000 schools which were closed down by Rajagopalachari were revived and 12,000 schools got added up. As a result, the percentage of school-going children in the age group of 6 and 11 increased from 45% to 75% 
within a span of 7 years after he became the chief minister of Tamil Nadu almost every village within a radius of 1 mile with a population of 300 and above inhabitants was provided with a school and poor students were given free books and slates kamarajar formed a committee to make propaganda in villages about the importance of education in order to avoid illiteracy in the state but there was no proper response from the people he met the villagers discussed with them found out the reason and arrived at a solution as an outcome with a view to encouraging and attracting the rural poor children to the schools kamarajar pioneered a scheme of free midday meal in 1956 for primary school children in panchayat and government institutions and this scheme was inaugurated in etaiburam the birthplace of our national poet subramanya bharathiyar under the aegis of care the american voluntary organization which sent milk powder corn flour and refined vegetable oils free of cost to schools from usa over 14 lakh students were benefited and countries all over the world praised this effort of kamarajar and jawaharlal nehru the then prime minister of india was much pleased as well the schemes for the growth of education were intensified during the period of kamarajar rule and right from 1956 to 57 free education was given to the children of elementary school teacher police constables head constables and the lower grade employees of the government during the year 1960 Kamarajar wanted to give free education up to 11th standard to all the poor students whose parental income was less than rupees 1200 per annum. This scheme got modified during the year 1962 to 63 wherein the parental income was fixed at rupees 1500 per annum. Apart from this orders were issued that the children of NGO employees of Panchayat Union may also get free education up to high school level the most humane part in the educational developments of Kamarajar was that he wanted to avoid partiality between the poor and the rich students as a result a scheme was organized and implemented to supply free uniform to poor students to make the education easily accessible to children from various backgrounds full exemption from school fees was introduced by the government of kamarajar in 1962 these revolutionary schemes and services of kamarajar towards the growth of education attracted the public very much as a result the situation arose where there are no villages in the state of tamil nadu without elementary schools a high school for every 5 miles distance with modern amenities was constructed apart from increasing the number of schools steps were taken to improve the standard of education by increasing the number of working days from 180 to 200 unnecessary holidays were reduced syllabi were prepared to give opportunity to various abilities of children introduction of two session classes and multi purpose schools were started this has resulted in the establishment of 191 multi purpose schools 286 double session schools laboratories with modern facilities and librarians were made available the salaries of the teachers were increased in order to improve their standard of teaching and to kindle their interest in teaching kamarajar also introduced a scheme of providing pension provident fund and compulsory insurance to a teacher for the first time in the history of india the scheme of providing quarters to the teacher of village schools came into force with an allocation of rupees 25 lakhs and construction of 750 houses were planned at the first stroke itself in addition to all these stated arrangements were made to give interest free loans to the poor students of medical college engineering college and agricultural college which improved admissions every year facilities which were made to train nurses in hospitals were also increased besides all these 
During his period, the number of arts colleges were increased. Two polytechnic colleges, 10 teachers training colleges and 39 teacher training schools were opened. His government made arrangements for the opening of one more university in the state of Tamil Nadu. Public enthusiasm and participation in raising funds and procuring equipment for the schools were entertained through different schemes making education a social responsibility. All these measures made education affordable for many who were denied basic educational opportunities for centuries together. According to Kamarajar, intelligence and character is the goal of true education. Varindalaivar Kamarajar made the best use of the funds available through the five-year plans and guided Tamil Nadu in deriving the maximum benefit. His efforts in these directions not only enhanced the profile of Tamil Nadu as one of the best administered states in the post-independent era, but it also raised it high in social and economic rankings compared to other states. As the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu for nine years, Kamarajar headed a stable administration and managed two elections successfully and his reputation soared high as shrewd and competent. He proved himself more than equal to the task and his detractors retracted the statements made about this village green trundler and his capacity to govern the state when he took the mantle from Rajagopalachari. His competent ministerial colleagues and the excellent set of senior state officials saw in Kamarajar a man with a mission who could set aside any structure in order to serve the common people. He was able to invoke cooperation, dedication and willingness ungrudgingly. Importantly, his approach to governance and party control was never tainted with religious overtones and a secular commitment was natural and integral to his mission in life. It is important to highlight here that the lifestyle of Kamarajar never changed. Power and position failed to dislocate his simplicity. During his tenure as chief minister, when the municipality of Virudunagar provided a direct water connection to his house in his hometown, Kamarajar ordered it to be disconnected immediately as he did not want any special privileges. He refused to use the Z-level security that was provided to him as the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu and instead travelled with just one police patrol vehicle. He did not marry, did not own any property and was never tempted by power. Kamarajar has been a whole-time politician and has labored to acquire personal knowledge of men and things all over the Tamil country and he knew all the leaders of his party from every nook and corner of India. Being a school dropout, he acquired a good knowledge in English and had a very considerable knowledge of world affairs. Kamarajar was immensely popular for all these reasons and above all, he was the representative Tamil as most Tamils imagined that figure. When he died, he left behind 130 rupees, two pairs of sandals, four shirts, four dhotis and a few books. His ways of speaking, walking, eating and dress commend themselves to the many millions to whom these are familiar ways with nothing outlandish about them. Kamarajar was awarded India's highest civilian honour, the Bharat Ratna, posthumously in 1976. The domestic terminal of the Chennai airport is named Kamarajar Terminal. Marina Beach Road in Chennai was named as Kamarajar Saleh, North Parade Road in Bengaluru and Parliament Road in New Delhi were also renamed after Kamarajar. Madurai Kamaraj University is named in his honour. On his birth centenary in 2003, the Government of India released a commemorative coin. Therefore, with all these facts highlighted, Perundalaivar Kamarajar a man with a mission has to be given a big salute in history and let us all join our hands together to establish the thoughts and practices of Kamarajar along with a grateful and sincere tribute to the noble soul of our great nation. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video with another important topic.
please like share and subscribe to this channel